Hello everyone. Let's make this beautiful and attractive PPT. Take a blank slide, go to insert, select shape and choose pentagon. Make it bigger in size so that it can fully cover the right side of the slide. Again select the pentagon shape from the insert option and place it near the big pentagon. The size should be smaller than the previous one. Duplicate the shape using Ctrl D. Make it little smaller than the previous shape. Again, press Ctrl D two times and make the shape smaller. So four smaller size shape and one big pentagon. Make sure the shapes are in descending order. That is big to small. Select the first four shapes and press Ctrl G to group them. Then. Use Ctrl D to duplicate, drag it and place it on the top. Again duplicate two times using Ctrl D and arrange in the similar way. This region should be inside the big pentagon. Now select the three together and press Ctrl G to group them and then duplicate it using Ctrl D. Drag it and place it in the lower portion. Go to the shape format, you will find a rotate option, click on it and flip vertical, adjust the shape properly. Select the three shapes together, right click using your mouse and then select the group option, from there you need to choose ungroup. Again right click and ungroup it. We are doing this step because we need to ungroup each pentagon shape. And similarly, we need to do for the remaining shapes also. This step needs to be followed properly. Now drag your mouse and select all the shapes together including the big pentagon. Then go to the shape format, select the merge shape and choose union. Right click on the pentagon and select format shape. On your extreme right, you will find a format shape window. Select the fill option, then click on the picture fill. Unclick the rotate with shape option. Now click on the insert option from files. Choose an image from your saved files and click on insert. You will find the selected image in your slide. Here we will give a heading and write up for the picture. Now go to the insert option, select text box and place it near the image. Here I am writing London Tower Bridge. Now select the title, make it bold, choose any font. Here I am going to select Arial Black and font size 32 and adjust it accordingly. You can give the title any color, uh, here I am giving a red color to it. Draw a small text box below the title and write the name of a subtitle that is here it is country United Kingdom. Now make it bold, font size uh, 24, then color you can give blue or purple. Next we need to give a write up about London Tower Bridge. I already have a small write up in my clipboard that I will copy paste here. Now select the write up. give font calibri then font size 18 make it bold uh, here you can see that the sentence are not properly aligned so to make it align we will select justify option now after it gets aligned choose a color next step we need to duplicate the slide to insert another picture so duplicate using ctrl d right click on the picture format picture then go to fill insert image from your system now write the title subheading and write up like the previous one if you have uh, more images with you duplicate the slide and insert it accordingly here i have prepared total nine slides first slide london tower bridge second statue of liberty third slide dubai frame fourth great wall of china followed by Qutub Minar, then Hanza Valley, Pyramids of Giza, 
Egypt, National Museum of Fine Arts Philippines and the last slide by thank you and subscribe. Once it is done, go to the first slide and go to the transition tab, choose rotate from the dynamic content, select apply to all. Now to see the results, turn on the slideshow. For that, either you can click on the below slideshow icon or you can go to the slideshow tab, choose from beginning and the result is here. And you can see the end result of this PPT, how amazing it is. If you found this video helpful and informative, do like, share, comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching.